Hi Stampers, this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I go live right here on YouTube and in my Facebook group every Monday and Thursday at 2.30 to show you guys something fun. This actual video is pre-recorded because I am recovering from shoulder surgery, but that shouldn't mean that you guys have to miss out. So I have a really fun card for you today. And this card is actually one of my craft along cards, which means if you placed an order with me in March, you're crafting along with me here in April. And you should have received a packet of materials in the mail. So I'll show you that when we map out what we're working with. Let me take you down to my desk. So here is our card. And it's the belly band slides off. And then it opens as kind of an accordion fold, trifold. I mean, the cards are so similar, but this one is what we're doing today. Those of you who placed an order last month got a craft along packet. In that packet, you should have a piece of fresh freesia cardstock that is five and a half by 11, scored at one and a quarter four and six and three quarters. Then you have a piece of designer series paper. This is the lighter than air. This is retiring this month. This is four by five and a quarter. I also have two pieces of the same designer series paper that are five and a quarter by one. They're gonna go on either side of this first panel. And then to go on the middle panels, I have a piece of designer series paper. It's coordinating from the same pack, two and a half by five and a quarter. And then there's a basic white, two and a half by five and a quarter. Then you have your focal point elements. So there is the belly band, which is nine and a quarter inches. It's scored at two and a half and then a little bit over six and three quarter. What I wanted was just a titch over four and a quarter once it was closed up. You have a bubble bath circle that was cut from a piece of approximately three and a quarter by three and a quarter. This was cut using the stylish shapes. I used the largest circle out of here. And then using the ice cream swirl dies, which is the bundle we're working with today, you should have these three pieces. Now the cone was cut using this die right here. And this one actually, if you wanted to, would cut two cones that kind of fold in the middle so you could make the cone your card base if you wanted. But I only use the bottom half and then the little detail die. The detail die does not cut on the edges. It just cuts little indentions that gives you some texture on your cone. Then the ice cream, the base of it, the solid piece of ice cream was cut from designer series paper. And then I use the other die to cut the white that will layer on top. So you should have all of these pieces in your kit. If you're cutting your own, like I said, this was about three and a quarter by three and a quarter. The ice cream is about three and a quarter by three. <clears throat> so that would be this is probably about the same for that one. And then the cone is approximately three and a half. By So roughly. Okay, for our card, like I said, we're using this ice cream swirl. And this is carrying over into our um, new annual catalog. It just won't be the bundle price anymore. So if you want to grab that bundle pricing, you're going to want to grab that now. Um, if you want to get one of these packets for next month, then you want to place an order in my online store. So you can go to queenbeecreations.net and you can menu down to the shop, the Stampin' Up! products, or you can just add shop now to the end of the URL as shown in the banner down below. And that takes you to my Stampin' Up! replicated site. You're going to want to use the monthly host code, which is listed on the top of my website. 
and that changes every month. So you want to check the website or the latest newsletter or blog post to find out what this month's code is. But that's what gets you this little packet of paper and it also gets you a set of six tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and just get some of these layers out of the way so we can play with our cone. So I'm going to insert this four by five and a quarter on the back piece. Then this is two and a half by five and a quarter. This piece is going to go right here. Oh, and we probably should have stamped on it first. And then a piece of designer series paper here that is again two and a half by five and a quarter. And this is one by five and a quarter. So I'm going to put one on this side and then one on the other side. With our seal, you don't need to use very much, just enough to get it to stick. <clears throat> it is a very strong adhesive. And then when you roll it, you want to flick a little bit so that it snaps off up at the top. Come on, there we go. So I'm going to bring in my rainbow dots. We're going to need those in a minute. These are stored in those gum containers, the extra gum that's at the checkout stands. This is just the empty case from that gum. It's the 35 sticks. Okay, with our cone, I wanted to give this a little bit of extra texture. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of crumb cake ink. And I'm going to add that with a blending brush. You can choose to use a blending brush, a um, sponge, um, sponge daubers. Choice is yours. And we can do a real light, kind of just a little bit of a accent using crumb cake. Or let me show you what it looks like if we go a little darker and we use pecan pie just to show a contrast on what the two different ones look like. So you can choose what you want to do. This one's going to be just a little bit darker. And again, that's all going to depend on how much you swirl on. You'll notice as I use the blending brushes, I start off the project and then swirl on because I don't want any harsh marks on the actual project. I want anything that comes down harsh to be on our scrap paper. So this brown just turned out to be a little bit warmer. So let's, you can see the two of them side by side. So they're the same color cardstock, just with a different color ink. And look what a wild difference that makes between the two of them. You wouldn't know that was the same cardstock but it actually is. Okay, then we're going to mount our ice cream. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is flip yours over and then put some adhesive on the larger sections. Um, as after I mailed everybody's out, I thought, you know, I should have probably done adhesive sheet on the back side, So we can just peel that off and it'll be a sticker. So I apologize, I didn't think about that before I mailed them off. So your kit won't have the sticker sheet. So just put the adhesive behind the larger pieces of white. Okay, then we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive just across the top of our cone. And then we're gonna set the ice cream on top of that. And then the whole thing's gonna mount on the circle and then the circle will mount on, mount on our belly band. So look, we're coming together really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around before I adhere it because I wanna make sure, see mine's a little tight. I wanna make sure it's not. So I'm going to force it to extend a little bit so that it's a little bit loose. 
because I want it to be able to slide on and off. So I always test that out before I adhere it together. Then we can adhere it together and you can either keep it in the back or what I tend to do often is flip it around and um, it put it on the front because then we can cover up that seam. And I'm using a little more adhesive than normal because it's going to get some action as it gets moved around. Then we're going to add some adhesive to the back of our cone. Again, a little extra because it's a moving piece. And there's our belly band. And if we wanted to, we could stamp in here. I probably should have done that before I glued it down. Let's see, what do we want to say? Hope your day is sweet. I think I like that one. And let's come in with a strawberry. Oop, dropped a block. Sorry about that. Okay, when I mount my stamp blocks, I will lay them on the paper and then I will line it up on one of the lines. And as I'm setting down my block, I'm also laying that on one of the lines which is going to give me my best bet in straight. And then let's do basic gray. Because I didn't want to do black because that would be way too harsh. Probably should have done smoky slate even. That might be a little softer. Let's try that with our um strawberry and we could actually even stamp it off and then stamp on here and it's super light like you may not even be able to see that but that's how i like to do my stamping before i color with the stamp and blends because it's real light and so it's going to make the blends step out that much more so if i come in with my real red and i start with the dark and I'm going to come down over some of these areas where Stampin' Up! has their accents. And then I'm going to go over it with the light. And as I'm doing that, I want to do a little bit of swirling because that's what's going to drag it around and make it blend. Don't be afraid to lay down a lot of ink because the more ink you lay down, the more it's going to blend. If you want to learn more about coloring with the Stampin' Blends, my friend Alyssa Tilsner from Australia has some courses you can purchase where she teaches you how to work with these. And she's got some real artistic talent. It's really cool. And she also has a Facebook group called Blends and Beyond that you can join for free. And she has some free training within that. One of the biggest tips I took away from her was to um, use pencils or maybe a white gel pen over the top. You can see this strawberry here, how it's nice and red. That's the way strawberries are supposed to look, right? But look at the difference it's gonna make when I come in with a white gel pen and just give those seeds a little bit of an extra something. I mean, not much, very light, but it seems to make a huge difference, at least in person. Once I go to um, lay those down. So that is today's card. 
All it needs now is a little bit of embellishment and we're good to go. So what did you guys think of that? Are some of you crafting along with me? Did you pull out your kit and do it with me live? Or are you going to go back and watch the replay and put your card together? I'm always curious if people are so anxious they want to do it right away or you want a little more time to think about it and watch how it's done before you go back and put yours together. I'm putting some of the rainbow adhesive back dots onto here. Because it's going to mimic the paper in the background that has all the dots on it. And then, of course, we want to lay them down in odd numbers. So I want to keep it at like five or seven. And there we go. There is our ice cream swirl fun fold card. So I hope you liked today's card and hopefully you got one of the packets to craft along with me. And if you didn't, then you want one next month, make sure you place your order over at queenbeecreationsnet slash shop now. And if you place an order in April, you will get a craft along packet for May. So Thank you to everyone who joined me. I hope you enjoyed your card and I will see you back here next time for another fun fold card. Thanks so much. Bye.